we can run our own show. You know, three young black men at that. So, you know, you never know. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to another great episode of Facts and Stats. We appreciate all of our new subscribers that we picked up over the past week. And if you're watching this video and you're not subscribed yet, go ahead and do that for us. We have a lot of topics that we're going to talk about today. We also have a special guest on the call. I'm going to allow him to introduce himself, and we're going to go ahead and get started. What's up, my people? What's up, my people? My name is Monty Bynum. I'm an avid sports fan. I'm just here with the fellas just to talk that talk. You know what I mean? Yes, sir. Thank That's you for good. having me. Thank all right, so proud. to start this episode, breaking news just happened within the past hour, hour and a half. Chris Jones has been re-signed by the Kansas City Chiefs after they just did yeah. that big contract last week. So, you know, talk to me. How y'all feel about that? Well deserved, man. They just won a Super Bowl title, you feel me? And uh, he definitely made a big impact last year. And I think he'll make a bigger impact next year. They trying to do everything they can to keep what they got and just, just exactly. keep rolling with it. They won a Super Bowl with the pieces they, you know what I'm saying? They trying to keep it and just keep it rolling. Uh, you you know. got to. Especially with the stars, you got to keep your stars around as much as you possibly can. Right, that's right. And y'all just gave Mahomes pretty much half the stadium. They, they said Mahomes, <laughs> um, he made sure that they kept enough money for Chris Jones. Like they ain't giving, they could have gave him more than that half a billion dollars. But they he set up right. his contract. He was like, nah, let me let's give Chris Jones some of the money. You know what I'm saying? I hear you chip on it, Monte. How you feel about it? I feel like I want to know what kind of party did he do once he saw sixty mil guaranteed. <laughs> All right. <laughs> you know, most of them don't get guaranteed money. Mm -hmm. So when you get 60, that means he'll, he could break his ankle tomorrow. He getting yeah. that. Right. He's getting that bag. Incredible. Uh, you got yeah, remember, right, uh, these owners are billionaires. So the mm -hmm. money the money that they give given to these players is not even all that much. What they, right. what they get it. And I guess that um, the contract that makes it so they can't pay out you know uh, uh everybody a uh, uh, hundred million dollars because they were like oh yeah. you'll get all the best players if you can pay like baseball do all right so, right. so let me ask you a question because i'm in a group chat with a couple of my friends and they all feel like some of them feel like the chief's not gonna fall out you know like they're gonna keep that same core that they had pretty much from years to come you know Mahomes said he want to build a dynasty at any given time do you think somebody's gonna have that mindset so like well i already won a ring last year and they probably say first they win this year too coming up we have two rings now let me go get that contract where I'm about my money. Instead that was of, all the time. That was all the time. You go chase that down. Especially if you know you've been making a, a big impact on your team, but you're right. the one who wasn't able to get that big contract. Mm -hmm. You gone. Because on the offseason, that coach done called you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? What's your contract looking like over there? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I, feel like, I feel like Sammy Walkins might be that player who might do that. Yeah. Sammy, yeah, Sammy could be that, but Sammy also was going to step away from the game last year, too. Exactly. You know? He chose to come back, you know, and it was a good thing he did come back, but I feel like it probably can be like McCole, you know, McCole, if he have a good year, like if he step up and have a good year to compliment Hill, it's going to be hard for him to pay him and Hill, you know what I'm saying? Along with Or, or Damian Williams, he might step up yeah, as true. well. They, just, they probably, they probably want to Damian walk, though. You know, they just draft yeah. Which I, I think that uh, is coach going to stay there? Because I think a lot of the results is him. His teams has all been, always been high-powered offensive. He never really concentrated on defense like that. Yeah, right, yeah, right, right. You know right. what I'm saying? So at any time, you know, everybody, if you looked in the draft, or not even the draft, well, uh, the college, everybody wants these short, fast uh, quarterbacks. Before, everybody wanted these huge uh, quarterbacks big, big you can see over there. Yeah. Now yeah. they were looking for maneuverable because of uh, your player right there, Wilson. Mm -hmm. People like that. Prescott, those guys. Man, all those quarterbacks now all of a sudden are mobile. They used yeah. to hate them before. Yeah. You know. So if, That's why they were hating on Michael Vick. Yeah, yeah. 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 So yeah. imagine if his Michael coach Vick. gone. I mean, he up there in age. Somebody yeah. messed that chemistry yeah. up. And he's been around for a long time. He yeah. definitely has been around for a long time. That's, that's a good question. That's a good question. But I feel like even if the coach is going, they can find somebody that's going to be able to step in and still be able to compliment my homes and use my yeah. homes. I thought, I, I thought Andy Reid signed that extension, though. No, he did. But that age, that uh, health, right. he'll be yeah. there. He'll it's be a big there. Right yeah. So, I what about, what about uh, homes, though? Uh, is it all athleticism, you guys think? What happens, you know, NBA players, you're so athletic, like LeBron had 
the horrible injury yet. So then mm-hmm. you actually actually work have to work on your game as opposed to just going off of natural athleticism. My favorite right. my favorite thing about Mahomes is not even his the way his his ability to move in the pocket. Uh-huh. My favorite thing about him is how he can still make any he can make any single given throw possible. Mm-hmm. Like so he can tear his ACL or he can tear his Achilles. Yeah, he especially Achilles will affect the player. But Mahomes, I don't think it's gonna really affect him because like he can literally do any single thing. Now, Lamar Jackson, on the other hand, if Achilles or something like that would happen to Lamar, then that might be a little different type of problem. Yeah. Yeah, it'll slow his game up because he's known for, you know, rushing. He was like the sixth best rusher. He rushing Stop, more than Don't get me wrong, Mahomes is known for moving in a pocket and making them little, you know, fancy throws as well, but no he, look passes. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> How do you know a no look pass yeah. down 20 yards down the field? Yeah, Mahomes is different. He's real different. He can get around the that baseball arm. Yeah, that Brett Favre. If y'all use the yeah. word Brett Favre, he used to throw that ball like a baseball. Man. Yeah. But mm. well, enough of the Chiefs and Chris Jones. Congrats to Chris Jones for getting that nice little con- nice contract. I'm not going to say little. Sure. That's a nice contract. Um, but up to yesterday, the Redskins officially, well, the Washington team in Maryland officially retired their name. So, you know, just talk to me about how y'all feel about that. Should have been happening. I, I'll start it off. Um, I'm happy that they are doing that. Um, the Redskins haven't been a good organization. They haven't been a good franchise, however you want to put it, you know. And like I said on a previous episode, they have a nice little young team over there, and they might can use that extra little motivation. Um, like Dwayne Haskins tweeted, he also he always growing up in Maryland, you know, the DMV area. He always been mm-hmm. a Redskins fan, but he's looking forward to what the next name is going to be. And just a little recap: the Washington Redskins was founded in what 1932. And they're finally going to, you know, retire in 2020 um, with that name. But over that whole time, they haven't been a good franchise. Like their record overall is 603 wins and 603 losses. You know, literally even. That's 70 plus years of being even. Never having an extravagant good season. So, you know, they might need a, you know, it can be a little good little thing for them. Yeah. It might spark up some uh, some excitement in the locker room and mm-hmm. on the field as well. So, yeah, I feel like it might help. Especially the young players. They got a lot of the young players on that team so they just need to reshape that whole organization you know this might be even though it's not like a a physical thing or like a you know out there you get new players new coach new gm but it's still you right. know, it might just be a start or something they're, they're worth like num- on number five in the nfl is the uh, team that's worth the most some you know as far as billions so right. if they lose that just because of the name change then it is a testament to how really racist this country is. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. If all, if all of a sudden the Redskins lose half of their, you know, fans, then you know, man, that's terrible. I'll say that's true. I see yeah. what you're saying. Now. I like that. Yeah, that's a yeah. great point. Man, that's yeah. all right. Yeah, it's about, about time for a change. There ain't nothing wrong with a change, man. Everybody can change their uniform. Why not change your name? Definitely, definitely. Just because it was done forever doesn't mean it was right. right. You know what I mean? So if you find your way to the truth, it's about time you do it. It's like you said, man, it's never too late. It's never, it's too, never late. too late. That's a great point. I like that. That's a great point. Well, good luck to whatever name that they come up with because I know a lot of names, a lot of names been trademarked. So. Oh, you see Washington. that? Yeah. <laughs> that'll slap them in the face. Don't get me wrong. All the people that did that, they smart for doing that though, but yeah. that'll slap them in the face big time. Because that's like a, like two hundred or one hundred fifty dollars every time you do it. So yeah. They took that a hey, because the skins have to pay them. Yeah. And they may not have to pay them much, but exactly. you, I would do the contract and say you ain't even gotta pay me up front. Just every right. give me a percentage of everything that you make off of this game. Yeah. yeah, Mark. They were thinking ahead, so I don't blame them. Like they literally did the Red Wolves. Almost every single name that was like speculated yeah. to be one of the final names chosen, they trademarked it. So I'm pretty sure they're Washington Wolves, man. That would have been perfect. Man, not even a scared fan, and I like that name, Washington Washington Wolves. Yeah, they should have kept that. Yeah, we want to transfer it over to basketball a little bit, so. The Lakers NBA. took the Lakers lose Rondo for the next six to eight weeks. Um, yeah, I think that's going to be a big loss to their team in a playoff run that they're going to make in Orlando or what? I will only say it's a big loss because they lost Avery Bradley and Rondo. They got You lost your starting PG, then you lost your backup PG. Now you got to go to Quinn Cook, Alex Caruso, and get Jay Austin. Like everybody to rotate. It's just more pressure on the other people that wasn't That's cool. 
I mean, I don't think that's pressure on Quinn Cook because he already been with the Golden State Warriors. He already been in the playoffs. I'm saying he he has experience. He has playoff experience. He got right. postseason experience. So, he got finals experience. He got conference finals experience. You know what I'm saying? But I just he got all that experience too, though. I'm not saying Quinn Cook is Rondo. Don't get right, me wrong. Right. Quinn Cook yeah, is not right. Rondo. Quinn Cook don't occasionally go to, with the Celtics to the finals. You know what I'm saying? He don't do that. He just yeah, he, yeah, he yeah, came from the, I just think the loss on Rondo is more so like. Locker room presence and leadership. You're right. And leadership, yeah. yeah on, leadership. on the court. LeBron was excited. LeBron tweeted out, like, because LeBron Rondo got real buff now. LeBron tweeted out, like, you know, yeah. I can't wait to see play off dub. You know, um <laughs> so I feel like it was more so like locker room presence and leadership, you know, that yeah. that great passing ability. You know, we're not gonna say we're But I feel like that. also with the loss of Rondo and Avery Bradley, this championship just gonna make LeBron that much more of a goat. He already had to do it in Cleveland. I felt like it wasn't easy in winning Miami, but it wasn't as bad as it was with the Lakers. You know what I'm saying? Right now, when he loses all his players, that's what happened. Kyrie got hurt, he lost with the Cavs. You know what I'm saying? Like, injuries real life mess up the finals. They mess up the game. They mess up regular season, mess up postseason. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, a, lot of, a lot of people feel like if, if they win this ring, it's not going to be, like, a big a big uh, accomplishment for him because how the season already is going. And, sure and, yeah. Yeah, they the took break. a three month break. What you mean? And he lost two players. That, that's this, a lot of. That's a long time though. They what lost two playing? players, but they gained two players. Who cares? They didn't exactly. gain two PGs. They gained two more sh- shooting guards. They didn't that's lose cool. two PGs. They they lost yeah, Avery Bradley a PG and they lost Rondo who's a PG. Then they gonna they gonna get Jr. Smith guard. and then they gonna get Avery. Deion Waiters. Those are shooting guards. Avery was a shooter. Bro, they don't give a damn about Avery Bradley. Bro, don't get me wrong. Like All I right. said, here for defense. Don't get me wrong. Who just started? They still got Danny Green. They added exactly. Jr. Deion Waiters. Okay, okay, At okay. Point, forget Avery Bradley. Then, you, then you can do that with the depth. Next man up. Next man. That's, up. that's, 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 that's then you can do that up. with depth though. Like, cause you can put LeBron at the one, Danny Green at two, Kyle Kuzma at the three, AD at LeBron the four. been playing one all year. I'm just saying though, you can do that now. Like now, three, that two, depth two, give them that option. That depth give them that. Like you can make those type of decisions. You know what I'm saying? So you just said that depth before. And before I say this, I'm gonna let Monte. But after I say this, I'm gonna let Monte chip in because he told me he was a Lakers fan before the call. Right? What so, you think? You a Lakers fan? So how you how you feel so about? I was I was gonna say this, fellas. The main issue for the Lakers, if you if you watch the Lakers within the last so many years, we never got a dominant fast guard. So the issue is not the offensive side because, like um, Javon said, LeBron playing the one regardless. Right, the right. thing is, on defense, we have never been able to check the dominant, fast guard because exactly. all our guards have been terribly slow. Right. You know what I'm saying? From Dirk Fisher or down mm-hmm. where we got the uh, the Asian guy who came from New York. Jeremy or down, Jeremy we get Jeremy Rondo Lane. late, so he can't stay in front of nobody now. Right. Um, you gotta check Westbrook. You gotta check Westbrook. Luke is not known for playing D. He came from Golden State. Who plays D over there? For real, for real. Jeremy so, Green don't play defense. Cool. Who? Not Jeremy Green don't play defense. Nah, not like the only guard we have for defense is Avery Bradley, right? right? So he's not playing. Right. So my, and he, even he's, he's even he now is slow. If we'd have got him when he was with the Celtics, oh yeah, we'd have been like fired up. Cause now he yeah, can right, check right, the, right. the Westbrook. Yeah, he, and uh, that point. remember, right. who we who's gonna check? We getting ready to talk about Oladipo. Who we have who can stay with Oladipo? Danny Green, LeBron James, Anthony Davis. Anthony, Anthony Davis. Davis. Anthony Davis can go one through five. Don't don't stop. Nah, nah. Oh my goodness, on the ISO. Oladipo. They gonna run the ISO, my kid. Cause I got Anthony run Davis ISO. guarding one through five. Well, he move Anthony Davis, bro. Like, that's straight up. Right. Okay. <laughs> he got more skates. He's moving LeBron there. LeBron can't check on Depot either. Yeah. Right. So the collective defense is where we're going to be hurting. Because now LeBron going to have to. It's, it, what happened with um Kobe? You got to put the dude who's the weight of the offense is on the shoulder. Now he got to play check. The number one exactly. player on offense. If y'all remember when Coach Phil with Jordan, he never let that happen. He always Scotty, you go and check the number one dude on the opposite team. Right. LeBron, you, he's up in age now. He's gonna start wearing down. These kids are just getting fresh. Come down, they ain't played in months. Man, what? Yeah, they're gonna be fresh. Yeah. Hey, that's the problem. Unless Cook come out, I think Cook gonna get more time than mm-hmm. um the uh, uh white the white boy. Caruso. Yeah, I think he's gonna get more time than him. But even though he's bigger than Cook, though. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's he bigger than Cook. But mm-hmm. that, I feel like the whichever guard come off the bench at that point guard position, they're not gonna play a lot anyway. Because LeBron right. will go for 35. LeBron's gonna, at he's this gonna point, take off. 
because Rondo is gone, so they're gonna need to you know to rely on Bron a little bit more. So mm-hmm. you know, it's gonna be good to see uh, the Lakers. Uh, yeah. it's a, it, I just don't think. I mean, the Lakers are one and two to the Clippers this year. And Avery Bradley scored twenty four points. He scored the third highest amount of points. Yeah, he had a good game that game. game. He did. He did. He had yeah, the he highest. Had he had the third well, highest points. And you just said you don't care about Avery Bradley. Come on, bro. Mm. I'm not saying everybody it. know Joe. You know he's surprised that game. Those yeah, games he's surprised. That's the shocker he game, bro. Like he was hit all kind of shots. I'm just saying the one game they beat the Clippers this season. Avery Bradley scored 24 points, making six threes. That's it. Hey. That's Look, they got to do that. Alex got to do that. Dion Waiters got like somebody got to show up. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I forgot we got oh, Dion. You, I'm glad you brought that up. That's bro. what I'm saying. Like they still had Jr. and Dion. They not tripping about Dion come in shape now. If he been, if he come back in shape, yeah. you ain't gonna miss Rondo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that would be a problem. We <laughs> need that. They all always come in shape. That's not a. It's never an issue with him. I don't ever know. I don't know what these people are talking about. Cause if you look at Jr. Gang, monster, athletic, yeah. hit the yeah. chain, whatever you want. And he's gonna play defense for you. So yeah, he's, that's an easy pickup for me. Yeah, I'm a coach. Most definitely. But um, other news around the league: Westbrook has tested positive for the virus, and also two out of 322 players that was on the Orlando site also tested positive, and they have been sent home to go self quarantine. So do y'all feel like still the restart is a good idea or, you know, like what should they do about it? I, I still think it's a bad idea because at the same time, it's a, it's a contact sport. I mean, you're going to be some type of contact is going to be in the court. Like, you can't get away from that. So. I'm with you, Marcus. Cancel yeah. that joint, man. Yeah, cancel it, can. cancel it. Just these cancel dudes, it. And you know these people like Westbrook, and they probably, all they do is train. It's right. really an exceptional health when the season come around. So you know mm-hmm. they be locked away in some gym and going home every day. How yeah, did he right. come up with the how did he get? You know what I'm saying? And they was in the bubble, getting ready to go to the bubble right before they right. was getting ready going. So right. how do you get tested? One, they don't even really know how we catching this stuff. Exactly. You know, right. so you putting a lot of kids and families at risk just to say to make that money off of us watching the game and buying the paraphernalia and all that stuff. right i mean three for, months for the westbrook thing um i mean he got tested then, but when they when they start back up he'll be able to play um but I, I don't right think now. and then mm-hmm. when, but, but for the ola depot thing because he um he they say he has strong practices he's he might he was playing five on five he might come back i don't think he could come i think he should wait um, I don't even think the Pacers will make that push right now anyway because they probably don't even got that chemistry. The only time he was playing good was his first year there. And they didn't have I Brogdon think, and they didn't have um, uh, the other dude. What's the other dude's name? Sabonis. They didn't have the Sabonis, Sabonis they have now. They didn't have the Brogdon they didn't have now. I think they should wait. Came back though, remember? He came back before the season that ended the last last year. Yeah, yeah, yeah but they yeah, was, it wasn't the same. It wasn't the same like how yeah. it could be next season. But, I mean, my thing is, the way I look at it right now, I hear you, and I think I did say that one of the previous episodes, he probably shouldn't play either, I said, I think. But mm. the East is wide open right now. It's not one mm. team right now you can tell me for sure, like, yeah, they probably going to. You look at the West, you say the Clippers or the Lakers or the Rockets. You don't look right. at the East. Okay. I, I was trying to, because I'm like, Pacers not whipping Milwaukee. Pacers, well, you never, the Pacers are a good team. But we got to wait until next season. But we just seen, we, we just seen game. Boston beat the Bucks. <laughs> yeah. Boston is a third now, now I understand ground. what you mean when you say that um East is wide open because when you say when you think of East, you gotta say Celtics, Raptors, Pacers, Philly, Milwaukee. But when you say West, all you gotta say is Lakers and Clippers. You just made my point. If I just I know, that's it, what I'm saying. I, 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 I get you. I, I'm, I'm with oh, you. oh yeah, 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 I'm yeah, with yeah. You. That's, that's what I, that's how I look at it. East is wide open. So if he's really good yeah. to go and he can be his usual self, go for it. Why not? Why waste a year? Why waste not a year? But what if he get hurt again? He did that last he did that last two seasons and he only played what 13, 20 games? Like he but two years ago, bro, he ran into LeBron James. Bro, it's a different sort of situation when he ran into LeBron he run James. He ran into Giannis now. I don't think nobody he LeBron James? he run into he running into Giannis now. He LeBron James? But I don't think nobody on the Pacers or the Celtics can guard Giannis. So that dude means. Who can guard Giannis in the East now? Hold on, let me. Who can guard him in the West? Before LeBron, <laughs> AD, Kawhi, Not Kawhi, Kawhi, maybe. Yeah, LeBron cannot check Green. Green, yo, no Kawhi, sir. Maybe. Kawhi, come on, man. No, y'all gotta look. Checking him is saying, "Let me back up and force him to hit a J." Right, That's their right, only right. defense for him. 
Because yeah. anything else, even when they yeah. force him to do that, he still drives in. Yeah. The mama's yeah. seven foot, dog. Yeah. He's knocking it down right now. I don't know. He's knocking that three down, too. Yeah, he definitely is. He definitely is. He's shooting a three ball way more this year and made way more this year as well, too. So If young and from Philly actually got in the gym and worked on his, Jay, their yeah. point guard. Oh, yeah. oh, Ben Simmons don't even run PG no more. He run power forward. They let Sheldon Milton run uh, point guard now. You're lying to me, for real. Nah, yeah, that just, that just came out yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> they don't off ball right no more. They no, 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 and I like that. I like yeah. that. I like yeah, that. Yeah, matchup. Like matchup like problem. Yeah, yeah. I like, I like I that. It. It is, ben did that and put folks at point guard and never traded him. Yeah. <laughs> but he got hurt, so that's why they didn't do it. But. Yeah. He gonna put it if he all ball, then B really ain't gonna have no space now. All right. Yeah, that's true. That's so, true. Van Horford and then B gonna clog that. Gonna exactly. Clog. That's not good. I feel like I write about Olin Depot. Sit, sit down there and heal all the way up to me. Yeah. Sit down here all the way up because you, you had that great year. And that, that now the spotlight on you. Every time you step on the court, the coaches are running the defensive game plan to take you out of the game. So you have to have everything on on a hundred now. You know, right. you can't come in there and tweaking that 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 muscle, of, no, the tear. Right. Reality. I already said that's weak. You can do it. You can tear it real quick if you're not really fully uh, rehab. Right. Right. Got you. Well, um, I appreciate you for having me on the show, man. This is a good episode. Uh, yes, sir. Touch, I like this. Yeah. Touch on a lot of things. Who we think gonna win? The Lakers, Clippers, LeBron coming. Every, you know all that. Avery, Corona, Westbrook, Oladipo. Um, appreciate y'all for listening. Appreciate everybody for following us on Facts and Stats underscore on Twitter and Instagram. And make sure, make sure y'all subscribe, man. Yep. Subscribe all that. Thank you, fellas. Appreciate it. No you know it. Y'all be safe, man. Black Lives Matter. We out.